Hello. Many of our projects today use an ESP32 with a touchscreen display. They are cheap, easy to get started with, no complicated wiring, and they work well for both prototype and even small production projects. But there's always one question. Should you choose resistive touch or capacitive touch? Both look similar, but they feel and behave very differently. In this video, I'll show you the difference side by side and help you decide which one fit your project best. First, I try with my fingertips on the resistive screen, nothing shows up. Now with my fingernails, the lines appear and with a stylus, it works even better and more precise. That the strength of resistive touch is respond to almost any that applies pressure. In stylus on capacitive, nothing it needs a finger or conductive touch. With my finger, it draws smoothly, no pressure, just like a phone. On the left, the resistive screen with a stylus, you can see is more accurate for all very fine put. On the right, the capacitive screen with a finger is smooth but not as precise for tiny details. The resistive screen has a soft plastic layer so you can see scratch from long term use. The capacitive screen with its glass surface holds up much better fewer scratch more durable on the resistive screen it only detects one point at a time but on the capacitive screen it can use two fingers and it responds correctly so in short resistive is all about accuracy and flexibility while capacitive is all about user experience Now that we have seen the test, let's quickly break it down. Each type has its own pros and cons. So here's a size-by-size -size comparison to help you choose the right one for your project. Mm -hmm. 